Hello and welcome to Bible Studies. We are continuing in the Westminster Shorter Catechism and we are reading from the English Standard Version of the Bible. And we are on question 37. Question 37. What benefits do believers receive from Christ at death? Answer. The souls of believers are at their death made perfect in holiness and do immediately pass into glory, and their bodies being still united in Christ do rest in their graves till the resurrection. Our souls, the souls of believers are made perfect in holiness at death. And here in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 23, we read, And to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect. And the souls of believers do immediately pass into glory. And we read in Luke chapter 23, verse 43. This is Jesus speaking with the thief on the cross who realized that Jesus is who he said he was. the Messiah, the Son of God. And we read here in Luke 23, after the thief asked Jesus to remember him when he came into his kingdom. And it says here, verse 43, And he said to him, this is Jesus speaking, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Next we'll read in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. And verse 8, yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Philippians chapter 1, verse 23, I'm hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. And the bodies of believers are still united in Christ. And we read here in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 14. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. And... The bodies of believers rest in their graves until the day of resurrection, until resurrection. And when we read here in Daniel chapter 12, verse 2, And many of those who slept in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. John 5:28. And 29. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. Acts chapter 24, verse 15. Having a hope in God, which these men themselves accept, 
that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. Question 37. What benefits do believers receive from Christ at death? Answer. The souls of believers are at their death made perfect in holiness and do immediately pass into glory, and their bodies being still united in Christ do rest in their graves till the resurrection. Until next time, this has been Bible Studies. God bless.